Hey guys, I'm really pissed off right now because YouTube won't even monetize my channel, and uh, I I made I appealed it, but I say I say I have to wait for two, for two weeks. Like I don't know why they're making me wait for two weeks. Like I say that I that I used reused content, which I don't even think I did. And um, like I don't know what they was they, they said I don't know what they was has reused content, but apparently I I didn't do anything wrong, and uh. I don't think I used. I don't think I used any reused content. So without out of way, I need to go on a rant. Like I need to get off this off my chest. Like now, the ongoing, the ongoing TikTok trend for a faking mental illness has been getting more and more attention recently. If you've been on TikTok or any social media app, then you, then you have probably seen a post or two about people being exposed to faking mental illness. The illnesses range from OCD, ADHD, anxiety, depression, Tourette syndrome, autism, borderline personality disorder, and most, and the most recent one, dissociative identity disorder. This trend isn't just a, isn't just obnoxious, but it's also extremely offensive and hurtful to people that do suffer from these mental illnesses. There's an entire community of people on TikTok that make it their life's mission to get validation from social media. The people who fake these disorders care more about gain validation and attention, but if we don't think about the damage they, they cause to, to the people who suffer from these disorders. Our Generation Z has fa faced some challenging times with a pandemic, remote learning, a de and a decrease in social presence, and, high and higher levels of depression and anxiety. As social interactions were decreasing, the number of people glued to the phones was increasing. Most Gen, most Gen Z people who with, with the ages of, of 10 to 25 download TikTok because of boredom. Identity versus confusion is a stage that occurs in adults between the age of 12 and 18. In this stage, teens start to figure out very just true sets of self, which is for identity for information. This is this is usually a time for different phases and uh, and aesthetics, which we try to out. We try out, out which helps us find our identity as, and isn't harmful. However, this can be detrimental when, when people are self-diagnosing serious mental illness onto, onto themselves and treating them like just another face. Now this harm, now this harms for pe for person themselves, very young audience, and and people that suffer for these illnesses. The glorification of these severe illnesses har harms for people that actually try to spread awareness about these topics and share their stories. With people faking disorders, this takes resources away from people that actually need help. The glorification of these illnesses that also had, has, hasn't just been a TikTok thing. With the recent rise of adolescents on TikTok, it seems more pre prevalent. The DID, the DID is one of the most recent disorders that people have picked out. According to, to psychology today, diso dissociative, dissociative identity disorder, formerly referred to as multiple personality disorder, is characterized by different by a person's identity fragmented into into two or more distinct per personality trait states. People with this condition are often victims of severe abuse. This condition is not only serious but extremely rare. As stated in the Cleveland Clinic, the idea is very rare. For, dis for disorder effects between 0.01 and 1% of the population. It can occur at any range. But this disorder is often misdiagnosed and, re and requires multiple psych psych psycho psychosocial evaluations and assessments. To get an accurate diagnosis, so how, so how, to get an accurate diagnosis, so how can a real, sorry, I, I'm sorry, I, I need a minute. <sighs> Fuck. Anyway, let me continue. So, how can a rare psychological disorder that is diagnosed in, in about 1.5 percent of the global population population be so common on TikTok? TikTok trends have been for for most up unproblematic with limp singing videos and dances. However, with a new wave of people claiming to have severe illnesses for attention, this makes TikTok trend even more toxic. In hopes of gaining attention, finding a community or getting TikTok fame, some teens fake these disorders. There are such folks that actually suffer from these illnesses. There have been, there have been times when people try to post inf informational videos of, of their disorders. And then 
There are people in the in the comment comment section, quote unquote, fake claiming what they're going through. I I think it's just very disrespectful to the people who actually suffer from these mental illnesses. Like I can't even imagine how they feel, and I think it's horrible how people glorify mental illnesses because it harms for pe it harms for people who actually suffer from them. Disability discrimination occurs when a person is treated less favorably or not given the same opportunities as others in a similar situation. Because of a disability, it can, it can also occur when, when an unreasonable rule of policy is, is the same for every, everyone who has an unfair effect on people with a particular disability. And, and you know, it is against the law to discriminate against a person on the, the basis of dis disability in, in many areas of people of public life, including employment, education, gain or use in services, renting or buying a house or unit and access in pu public places. There are limited exceptions and exemptions. People with dis people with disabilities have a higher risk of being bullied, harassed, dis and discriminated at. And a few and a few may all also bully others. The mere fact that a person uses a wheelchair or, or has a learning disability or any other disability can make other can make others pick on them, make others pick on them to bully. Him. They can they can make fun of them, call them names, and make them feel miserable just for fun of those who perpetrated. For for, for the victims, it is very serious, and many people have committed suicide as a result. Bullying has real consequences on the victims. Depression, anxiety, health complaints, decreased academic achievement, and so on are all known fa effects of bullying. Some people fake disabilities to, to obtain social security benefits. And this behavior is known as melingering. And you know, a diagnosis of autism and uh, autism, ADHD, or both can be life-changing. Although there's still stigma, mis misconceptions, and discrimination tied to both conditions. These, these are perfect, yet specific labels can validate what neurodivergent people have, people have sensed about themselves all along. Now this is just how they're wired. And that their challenges are on to personal failing. Un unfortunately, we don't live in a world where such validation is distributed evenly. Testing for autism and ADHD is expensive. The average cost of an autism evaluation ranges from one to two thousand dollars. Overall costs can vary widely depending on your insurance, cost, coverage, and where you live. And like you know, changing attitudes towards disabilities have also contributed to self the self diagnosis trend. More people are embracing their disability disabled identity instead of trying to hide it or feeling ashamed of it. And you know, in my mind, I believe TikTok needs to ban everyone who are faking disabilities and disorders. Those people are literally the scum of the earth. We already have TikTokers like Tix and Roses and Miles JJ who fake disabilities. They literally fucking inspired so many TikTokers to fake disabilities. I mean, like, ever since that has become a trend. Us people with disabilities are getting bullied and harassed every goddamn day. It's so fucking frustrating. We all, we're all again, normal people are saying that us disabled people are faking, dis faking our disabilities, even though we legitimately have disabilities. That's why it makes it harder. Makes that's why it makes it fucking harder for us people to be more open about our disabilities. Like the first thing that comes to your mind. When you see someone with autism, ADHD, or Tourette's syndrome, or any other disability, it's quote unquote, this person is faking it. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know, I think, I think Tix Rose, Miles JJ, and every other TikToker who, every other TikToker who fake disabilities to be banned on every fucking social media platform, social media platform. We don't need shitty people like them. They severely harm so many of us people with disabilities to the point that we are getting bullied and harassed. I am sick and fucking tired of it. For that trend of fake disabilities for clout, I think that TikTok needs to be shut down forever. It did not need to. It did not need to to exist anyway. It shouldn't have existed anyway. 
It's filled with people with faking disorders, and TikTok is not doing a damn thing about it. All they're doing is trying to get 15 minutes of fame, and that's it. Nothing else. This goes to Tix Roses, Miles JJ, and every other person who fake disabilities for clout. Fuck you. Get the fuck off the internet. And fuck for motherfuckers and fuck for motherfuckers to support Tex Rose and Miles JJ. And you know, as someone who's on the autism spectrum, I find TikTokers who fake the stories to be horrible and delusional piece of shit. They don't deserve a platform. Because of those stupid delusional TikTokers who fake disabilities for clout, it has tarnished forever. It has tarnished the dis disabled community's reputation forever. Including autistic people. Hell, including me. Because those TikTokers ruined my reputation while I'm trying to raise awareness. And just. And guys, this video needs to be shared. And it needs to be heard. I am so pissed off right now, it's not even funny. <sighs> anyway, leave a like and subscribe, I guess. Like, like, fuck. 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 Fuck.